Hey everyone, for those who are new here, I'm Anna and I've recently moved to Montreal. In this video, I'll be headed back to Toronto for work purposes and I hope you can follow along my hectic work week. Montreal airport is still so confusing for me because I've only been here once. Uh, oh, okay, border. Let's go here. Okay, perfect. Oh, okay, thank you so much. You can tell I'm very busy right now, people watching, but I just wanted to say that I have never flown on such a small plane. It hands down gave me anxiety at the takeoff and of course me being a drama queen, I literally panicked inside every time we had a little turbulence, but it was all good and super quick, just an hour, 20 minutes and something. <laughs> Pretty quick. I couldn't even see. It was too short. Let me tell you, it is so good to be back. Exhausted because it was the entire day of just 
socializing, going to events was a lot more energy consuming than I anticipated. I'm helping my uh, brother that has just recently moved to Canada. I'm helping him to, you know, go through the immigration process and everything. And honestly, everything has changed so much for the past five years that I've been here and since the last time I went through this. And it's very like complicated and unnecessarily stressful which makes me nervous because of course like I I want to do everything that I can in order to help him and guide him through this and there are so many bumps on this journey which is also normal it's 99.9% .9 chance that your immigration is not gonna be easy but sometimes it just kind of hits you hard and last night I, I couldn't just sleep because of that I don't feel fresh at all it's okay we're gonna get through today and i can't wait till dinner because we're gonna cook something together with my brother and my best friend and we're just gonna chill at home and, <sighs> and drink away all the problems no don't do that Thank you. Just for the record, today is September 22nd and it's absolutely a gorgeous, gorgeous day outside. It's sunny, you know, it's not too hot, it's not too cold, you're not sweating, you're not freezing. Oh, it's a common day in Toronto, you either sweat or you freeze. I just caught myself thinking that summer is over but it's also September is pretty much over. How come the time flies so fast? You don't even notice it, like you're always running somewhere and then the year is gone. I literally feel like we celebrated New Year's multiple months ago. Crazy. had a quiet time consuming task that I needed to get done so I was pretty much head down at my desk the entire day with just a caveat of me finishing my farmer's wrap. I don't know what exactly about this wrap is so good but I think it's just the mix of sausage and the hash brown and the sauce but every time I need something quick and cheap I just go for it. I don't know I've never tried anything else at Tim's. As I mentioned in my previous videos my team is spread within different provinces so when we do fly out to Toronto we try to get to the office to work together and just just have some in-person time uh, therefore I couldn't film much but it was indeed a productive day by the end of which I was again exhausted <laughs> So this is one of the main reasons for my trip. My team has participated in RBC Race for the Kids.
This race was a part of the family navigation program from Sunnybrook Hospital, if some of you may know. This race was designated to youth mental health, which can be a real struggle here in Canada, considering that the wait time for such services usually take a long freaking while. It was my first ever race. I absolutely loved the energy there and just the fact that you can see people of different ages contributing to the cause really made my heart smile. And also the doggos. Oh my god, there were so many cute dogs and I low-key regretted that Mars wasn't here with me. successfully secured the mattress and dropped off the U-Haul, we headed to Koreatown to have lunch at my favorite spot which you can see right here in one of my cheap eats around Toronto videos where I share all of those food gems in the city. Every time I am in a relaxing mode, I really want to go there and just eat a giant ass bowl of soybean stew and then head back home and fall asleep for a legit 3 hour nap. <laughs> Even though work trips tend to be very intense and tiring, I'm also grateful that I can come to my friend's place after work and just chit chat about everything. Before I moved to Montreal, we were literally seeing each other every other day and now it unfortunately comes down to scheduling the trips and making sure that we at least get to see one another once a month. But it is genuinely great to have someone in your life with whom you can just keep silent and feel that this is also quality time with your friend. Wrapping up this video, I want to say thank you for sticking around till the end. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel which is going to help me tremendously in growing this channel and posting more content out there. Take care of yourself and I see you next week. Bye!